sir dear students our topic is three phase system what is exactly yes our topic is three phase system so why we require this topic and in what way it is useful for practical application so why the word three only three phase system and single phase system we are having practically single phase system we use for our household applications three phase system is used for industrial applications let us say the simple meaning of the word phase the phase means it's an energy in simple terms the phase wire contains the energy it carries the current so what is this three phase system in simple terms the basic is if you see a pole across the pole how many wires we are having initially there will be three wires three different wires you can see in the first figure now this three wires energy this three wire system is called three phase system and the voltage level is 400 volts or 440 volts if you take a voltmeter if you connect between two wires the voltage reading will be 400 or 440 now let us have a concentration on this second image this is called this is also called three phase system but it is three phase four wire system this is three phase three wire so why another wire is required another wire this extra wire is called neutral wire or zero wire so three phase system can be converted into single phase system for our house applications, we require 230 volts. So what we do, we convert this three phase system to single phase with the help of the neutral extra wire. That is 400 volts is converted to 230 volts. And the 230 volts will be transferred to the house. So how that 400 volts is converted to 230 is the question. So three phase system contains three different wires in simple terms. Now let us see the third image where this is the transformer which you have studied. Okay. Now if you see clearly, three names have been given, hot, hot, hot and neutral. So this is three phase four wire system. Hot means the phase, this is also phase and this is also phase. You might have experienced certain times we might be having the power supply in our house and our neighbors might not be having. So their phase is different. So this is called phase one, phase two, and phase three. Okay. So in order to convert 400 volts to 230 volts, we are using the neutral wire, three phase four wire. So where if you see near the industries, 400 volts is required. Therefore, no need of any neutral wire. So what is three phase system? Show me practically where it is implemented. Three phase system is nothing but the near the poles the transmission lines we can say if you are if you have seen that lift system lift lift works with the three phase system there also you will see three different wires so generally these wires are called red yellow blue for common man understanding so i cannot draw in my notes using the pole and circuit diagram so what we have to do we got the diagram in this manner so this pole connection three wire system or three wire four wire system three phase four wire system can be drawn like this one is called the y shape you can see so you can ask sir why you are not drawing the line okay, only copper line why you are showing certain inductor or winding or twisting this symbol because if you see in depth of this particular copper wire we are having the windings here okay so in practice the schematic or technical representation of the transmission line or the pole is three different wires which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. If you maintain 120 only, the maximum energy is transferred. So what is the advantage of three-phase system? Means three-phase system can give power or energy to heavy machines. You must have seen the building, uh, huge cranes, or lift systems or heavy machines. All the heavy machines, they understand, they work with the three-phase system. Therefore, 
in order to implement the three phase system the angle between the wax or the conductor should be 120 degrees even if it is 120 180 we cannot generate maximum energy so three phase system contains three different wires which are displaced by angle 120 degrees okay what is the definition of three phase system three phase system practically contains three different wires or three different windings which are displaced by angle 120 degrees three phase system can be represented by star connection or y connection and delta connection or mesh connection so that pole connections which you have seen just now it can be drawn technically in the shape of star or in the shape of delta okay you can see the extra one neutral is present here so general for common man understanding red wire this is yellow y and next one is b blue technically we got different names we'll see later on so examination also explain three phase system first you have to draw this diagram three phase system practically contains three different wires which are displaced by angle 120 degrees which can be represented as star connected system or delta connected system the only difference between star and delta is in delta there is no neutral wire based upon the connection you can see r y b wherever you see the lift today also you can check you will see three different color wires in our college also you might have seen near the diploma block one transformer near the transformer also you are having red yellow blue three different wires so this is the first diagram you have to draw as per the examination so let us move in depth so three phase system contains three different wires which are displaced by angle 120 degrees which can be represented as star or delta star and delta sorry so you can show this one this diagram so as i mentioned this is the star and this is the delta so draw the waveform this graph also you have to draw this waveform what is three phase three phase system now i am extending the explanation say okay three phase system contains three different voltages which are displaced by angle how much 120 degrees that means if you see three windings or three copper wires voltage across first winding voltage across second winding and voltage across third winding so three phase system generates three different voltages with same values but displaced by angle 120 degrees so you can draw this particular waveform so what is a mathematical equation mathematical equation i am just telling you can write this one v1 equal to vm sin omega t v2 equal to vm sin omega t minus 120 because they are displaced by angle 120 degrees v3 is equal to vm sin omega t minus 240 after 120 it will be 240 the third phase v1 v2 and v3 so that equations i'll share with you no need to worry so three phase system you must draw this diagram now here what is a simple definition we come across two marks what is the definition of line voltage you can see these are nothing but line 1 line 2 line 3 that is red yellow blue we can also say by line 1 line 2 and line 3 the voltage present between two lines is called line voltage if you see here l2 and here also it should be l3 the voltage present between any two lines is called line voltage what is the line voltage practical in india it is 440 or 400 volts the voltage present between any line and neutral is called phase voltage you can see this is the neutral okay the voltage present between any line and neutral is called phase voltage you can see here 230 volts it is a voltage present between line l2 and neutral point so how this 440 and 230 is converted one derivation we are supposed to discuss so if i keep the voltmeter here between two lines we will get 400 volts between line and neutral if you keep the voltmeter you will get 230 volts 230 volts is used for the domestic applications for heavy machines we go for the 400 volts you must have heard the words rope way between from one mountain to another mountain there are certain electrical poles and cage systems which are going to travel uh, make the people to transport from one mountain to another mountain there we go for six phase very high extreme high voltages we are going to use 
So now what is three phase system? Three phase system practically contains three different uh, conductors or windings or inductors which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Three phase system can be represented by star connected system and delta connected system. So what, uh, right. So in depth, once again, modifying the diagram star and the delta. Okay. So remember three phase means star and delta. So what is the voltages? We say that year one voltage V1, V2, V3. V1 is equal to Vm, V suffix M sine omega t as you have done in your initial classes that equation. AC voltage equation V is equal to Vm sine omega t. Now second phase V is, V2 is equal to Vm sine omega t minus 120. Third phase V3 equal to Vm sine omega t minus 240. Right. After this diagram, in what way we represent the explanation in the examination is with respect to vector diagram, star connection, delta connection. So you will get one question. Derive the relation between line voltage and phase voltage for star or delta. Remember the question. Derive the relation between line voltage and phase voltage for star connection or delta connection. What is line voltage? The voltage present between any two lines is called line voltage. The voltage present between line and phase is called the phase voltage. So now what is the derivation in what way we derive in a simple terms after this diagram? We'll see right now. So as I mentioned, the equations R Y B or 1, 2, 3, Vm sin omega t, you have to follow this one, sin omega t minus 120, sin omega t minus 240. Okay. Now we are supposed to derive the expression. For that expression only, we are taking this one. We'll see. All these things no need in a simple language will you will understand. Now we start all of you. I request everyone to take the paper and pen with you and follow this diagram. So star connection system explanation we have to give with respect to the diagram. Now, three phase system contains three different uh, uh, windings which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Therefore, three voltages which are generated by three phase system three phase system practically generates three different voltages just now we have seen vr vy vb or v1 v2 v3 these three voltages are displaced by an angle 120 degrees so first initially phase voltages are represented so first point of this vector diagram is representing the phase voltages Okay, what are phase voltages? You can write VRN, VYN, and VBN. You can see which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. This is very important, very tough. We are bringing in a simple manner. You must draw those diagrams and now start drawing this particular vector diagram. Relationship between line voltage and phase voltage for star connection system. This is what the derivation. So, step one star connected system contains three different phase voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Let the phase voltages be VRN, VYN and VBN which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. We should bring the relationship between line voltage and phase voltage. As I mentioned in the diagram, there are two voltages practically line voltage and phase voltage. The voltage between line, any two lines is called line voltage. The voltage between any two, any line and neutral is called phase voltage. So two hour hours, we are getting the AC voltage, of course, but that is called the phase voltage, 230 volts. Industries, we are sending 400 volts. So this derivation shows how that 400 is converted to 230. Okay. Now, step one, you have written. Now, you must draw this one as it is. Okay. What is the second step two? Draw 180 degrees vector to the VYN. Okay, start from origin, draw 180 degrees vector to VYN. You see, so we are drawing 180 degrees vector. So opposite to VYN, you can see now it is V and Y exactly opposite. Okay, so what, uh, right. So this is also the phase voltage, phase vector. We require the line uh, quantity. So what is the line quantity? How we can write? Combination of phase voltages will obtain the line voltage. Combination of phase voltage will obtain the line voltage. 
So what is a line voltage representation? We can represent by V R Y voltage between R line and Y line. So very first time it might be difficult, but you must remember this particular terminology here. V R only V R N it is phase. Only V B N it is phase. V Y N it is phase. V N Y is also phase, but V R Y is the voltage between R line and Y line. Okay. So a line voltage is a vector combination of two different phase voltages. Therefore, we can write uh, here also it should be V R N. All of you in this animation, it is not V R Y. It is V R N. Okay. So now uh, I hope the step two is clear. 180 draw 180 degrees vector to V Y N vector. Okay. Now. According to parallelogram law of vectors, the resultant of two vectors. Everybody might have studied in maths. If two vectors, I want the total combination of V and Y and V R N. All of you, what is the combination of V R N and V and Y? If I am adding these two vectors, okay, the resultant. So how to add these two vectors? Now you start drawing, all of you. Now, yes. Now you see, start from V and Y vector. The third, fourth step, third or fourth. First step is star connected system contains three different voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees, which are phase voltages. Let V R N, V Y N, and V B N be the phase voltages which are displaced by an angle 120 degrees. Okay. Second step. Start from V Y. Start from origin. Draw a vector 180 degrees to Y Y V Y M. That is opposite to V Y N is V N Y. Okay. V require line voltage. Line voltage is a vector combination of two different phase voltages. So I am taking the line voltage of V N Y and V R N. Okay. So how to show graphically? So start step three. Start from V N Y vector and draw a parallel vector to V R N. The statement asked is you are writing the examination. Start from V N Y vector and draw. A, start from V N Y vector and draw a parallel vector to V R N. Okay. Next, start from V R N vector and draw a parallel vector to V N Y. Start from V R N vector and draw a parallel vector to V N Y. We'll see now. Yes. So what is the resultant? Now, from the origin, combine these two vectors, their point of intersection, okay, which is called the total or resultant vector. Now you can see V R Y as we are combining R and Y. So V R Y is the line voltage, which is the vector combination of two phase voltages. So we have written here V R Y is equal to V R N here, and it is in opposite direction. V minus Y N we have taken. But which can be written as if you interchange this n y here, you can see it becomes plus. So v r y is equal to v r n plus v n y. So a line voltage is a vector combination of two different phase voltages. Hence your derivation is proved. First, this is what we have to do: relation between line voltage and phase voltage. Okay. So this point you can write as it is in the examination diagram is important. We have done with this. Okay, vector diagram. Practice this diagram only. You have to show. But now, let us take the angles. What is angle between V and Y? See, angle between V, B, N, and V, R, N is 120. So V and Y and V, R, N will be 60, and V, R, Y and V, R, N will be 30. You can see now, 60 here and 30. Okay. So up to this point, you have to show. Now you see with this one. We apply uh, the parallelogram law. Vector says that resultant V R Y is equal to. Now you see all of you. So V R Y, the formula we are going to obtain, line voltage equal to vector combination of these two. Vector means not just addition. V R Y is equal to under root of V R N whole square plus V N Y whole square plus two into V R N V N Y cos. What is the angle here? Cos 60 you are getting right, so that particular angle we have tried. So we'll see in the derivation now. Now all of you, in the place of E we have written uh, V we have written E. E R Y is equal to just now we have seen E N Y or V R N or N R both are same. 
er by line voltage equal to square root of two phase voltages square root of phase voltage is what ah yes yeah, square root of e square ny e square nr and 2 eny enr cos 60 as the angle between them is cos so in the vector diagram if you are showing v here also you write the v all of you okay and all these are phase voltages therefore we can write by ph the common ph ph and here it is line voltage therefore we represent by en so directly this equation you can write and cos 60 as we have shown you the angle is 60 degrees between line and phase therefore cos 60 is 1 by 2.5 so if you simplify this one take e square common you will get the relation line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage hence the derivation is proved so i am making it short as it is at the end of the examinations we have taken due to this covid situation line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage so what is the relation between line voltage and the phase voltage is for star connected system the relation is line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage you can see that vector diagram and just write this derivation that's enough okay now if they ask you derive the there will be two different questions out of two one will be coming 100% derive the relationship between line and phase voltage for star this is what we are supposed to show so for star circuits line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage and line current equal to phase current remember this one formula the star connected system means line voltage equal to root 3 times phase voltage so if they are asking the derivation for the delta no need to do any new thing wherever you have represented e or b represent replace the voltage by current understood then you will get this particular for delta it will be reverse for delta all of you remember line current equal to root 3 times phase current so what i am saying is explain for delta means only change the equations write this one change the equation by i and write this particular as this for delta line current equal to root 3 times phase current so where we see near the transmission lines star and delta in case if they ask generally they don't ask any problem on this one if they ask the problem okay see three chokes chokes means three copper wires resistance reactance are connected in star okay remember you must check the question are connected in star three phase 440 volt supply calculate the line current okay and power we will see that one so what are the given quantities resistance reactance we all know impedance formula root of r square plus x square we have done in the initial unit okay we will get the 50 line voltage the voltage given in the problem is always line 440 volts phase voltage will be 230 it is not given only the line voltage yes now which system they are mentioning star star connected system what is the relation anyone line voltage equal to root 3 times the phase voltage so what is the phase voltage phase voltage equal to line voltage by root 3 what is the line voltage given 400 400 by root 3 you will get this one so now you have might have seen when 440 divided by root 3 you are getting 254 okay 400 by root 3 you do you will get 230.94 that's why we are getting 230.230 230 volts to our house okay so phase current current formula is what phase uh, voltage by impedance phase current means phase voltage by impedance we will get the current value for star connected system just now i mentioned line current value will be equal to phase current no need to derive this one so therefore answer is the line current and phase current both are same okay so what i am trying to say is explain three phase system derive the expression for relation between line uh, line voltage and the line phase voltage line voltage and phase voltage for star okay that is one question so draw this circuit this symbols draw this particular diagram and how to explain the vector you can see now star means show the diagram with voltages vector means same diagram with currents okay so in order to explain the diagram i have shown this particular we have taken the use of this particular video here so you must write this formula okay right three voltages are displaced by angle 120 degrees so no need to draw this entire complicated explanation start the vector diagram okay three voltages are displaced by angle 120 degrees 
even you can write here instead of rn vyn vbn you can write vph 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 all three vph because all are phase voltages if you if they are asking for delta remember you must replace the voltage by current that's all no need to change anything right so what is the second step step to draw from origin 180 degrees vector to the vyn drawn i want the combination of these two vectors so start from v and y draw a parallel vector to vr this is a vector addition so start from vr and draw a parallel vector to vr and so resultant is line voltage line voltage is the vector combination of two different phase voltages and you can see the angles the angle between these two is 60 two phase voltage we are combining these two vn y and vr and here it is 30 okay so here we have shown with v in the equation we have taken e you can replace the v also here now show the derivation the second line you can write directly so you get the complete works so in the star connection line voltage equal to 50 times phase voltage but delta line current equal to 50 times phase current problem as you can substitute this is the simple topic 100% for the examination all the best